What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about Apple introducing the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, and more info on iOS 7 at Apple's September 10th event that happened today. So here it is. I made a video just yesterday on all the product leaks and stuff of the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, uh, even the uh, future iPads that are going to be coming out hopefully next month. Uh, they didn't announce them at this event. However, uh, they announced at this event the long-awaited iPhone 5S as well as the iPhone 5C. You can see the Apple page looks really weird there uh, with that coloring, but um, it's exactly what we predicted and everything we wanted and hoped for uh, and everything that was leaked. So let's get into this. So I'd like to first talk about the iPhone iPhone 5S, obviously the main star of the show. You could see here three colors that it's going to come in um, that are going to be gold, um, kind of like this space gray, which is replacing the black iPhone 5, and the white and silver one is pretty much the same as what we had uh, with the iPhone 5, but mainly we got this new gold color uh, that's kind of like a champagne. It's absolutely beautiful. This is exactly what was um, rumored and leaked, and we finally got it. Uh, looks very nice. As you can see here, we got uh, dual LED flash on the back. And then, as you can see right here, we got a different looking home button. It turns out that this is actually a brand new fingerprint sensor. Apple's dubbing it as Touch ID. Uh, it's going to be a fingerprint sensor built in right into the home button. So you don't even have to put a passcode anymore. When you just turn on your phone, you just hold down your thumb or whatever finger you want onto the uh, home button. It'll take you right to your home screen or whatever screen you were on without having to put in a passcode or anything. Built right into the home button. Like I said, looks very nice. Uh, you can see the home button's got like this stainless steel ring around it now, which is a sensor for when you're holding down uh, to unlock your device. And that's built in. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, definitely a big up you know the home button hasn't been changed since the iPhone's original unveiling in 2007 uh, and this one's made out of sapphire crystals so uh, that means it will not get scratched as easily along with this we also have the a7 chip that's going to be built into the iPhone 5s this is a first for Apple and all their products the a7 chip is finally in it uh, I talked about this in my original rumor video. Uh, I had a feeling that this would happen. Uh, with the 64-bit architecture, this is the fastest phone uh, now on the market. It's going to be incredible. Of course, iOS 7 will be built into the iPhone 5S as well. That'll be available uh, right as soon as you start up the phone. And then right here, we're looking at the iPhone 5S's case. You can see here, Apple actually decided to put cases out. They've done smart covers. They've done docs. Today, they just decided to change it. Uh, and come out with their own cases. They did this for the 5C2. Uh, however, I really like the 5S cases. They're like a leather. They're 40 bucks a piece, uh, which is a little bit pricey, but it's not that bad. I'm definitely going to be getting a blue one, I think, uh, to go with my gold iPhone 5S, if that's like the right uh, color looking. Hopefully, it'll look nice, but um, the case is very cool, too, and I want something to protect it. Um, so I'm going to have to get one of these, too. Uh, they're really nice. And here you can see just once more the three phones lined up. We got the space gray on the top, the gold uh, in the middle, and the uh, silver on the bottom. You can see very nice. Uh, here's a little bit of a better look um, at the space gray one. Uh, it's 7.6 millimeters in depth, and it only weighs 112 grams, just like the iPhone 5. See a nice close-up shot here, uh, talking about the fingerprint sensor. And the A7 chip is going to provide up to 40 times percent faster uh, than the CPU in the original iPhone, and up to 56 times faster than the GPU of the original iPhone. Uh, so this, this is really the best one yet. And the camera on the back of the iPhone 5S, like I said, is going to have dual flash uh, LED and amber, uh, so white and amber, and it's going to kind of mix together to make pictures look even better. Uh, dual flash is something we expected to come out as well. With this, they're also including slow motion video, which is going to look just awesome. And just looking at the camera itself, there's a 15% larger image sensor, and there's a 33% increase in light sensitivity. So you're going to get a lot better pictures with this. And one thing I heard uh, that was really cool is when you take a picture on the iPhone 5S, the iPhone actually takes four pictures and it matches them all up together. It figures out which sections of the picture are blurry, which sections have bad light balance, and it automatically separates them into four pieces, but it's seamless. You can't even tell it smartly does it. It looks so cool. And here's a close-up shot of those cases. Again, as you can see, very, very nice looking, very good 
uh, quality and material looking. Hopefully it feels good in the hand. I can only imagine. So next we'll talk about the iPhone 5C for the colorful. Here it is, the cheap uh, end model of the iPhone 5C. Now before I get into cheap, you know, I was talking about how um, in my roundup video, my rumor roundup video, how much I hate when Apple goes cheap like they did. Um, you know, with the iPod Touch 5th generation, they made a cheap model, or if they just go out of the picture uh, and make a 128 gigabyte iPad 4, um, you know, I don't like when Apple does that. I usually like when they just stay on target and they stay uh, with their normal stuff. I don't like when they get low and cheap, uh, because ultimately a lot of people do buy iPhones. This will obviously help out a little bit more since it's just 99 bucks uh, starting at 16 gigabyte. but if they really wanted, they could just go for a 5. Uh, they could go for 4S, which by the way, the 5 was discontinued and replaced by the 5C and the 5S, but the 4S still exists, uh, free on contract, 8GB only. I'm not going to lie, I actually do like the 5C uh, a bit, and it led me to decide that I'm going to have to get myself a blue one, uh, especially to review for you guys and show off. Um, I really like the blue color, it's like the default color um, of the iPhone 5S, and they even introduced $29 cases that come in all the same colors as the iPhone 5C do, you know, green, blue, yellow, pink, uh, white, and they even have a black one, um, which isn't in an iPhone 5C color, but they do have the black case, which looks pretty cool. I decided not to buy one of these. These are like a smooth uh, silicone type of case. Um, I just don't have much interest in it, to be quite honest with you. So the specs on this iPhone 5C are just about the same as what the iPhone 5 had, probably leading up to Apple's ultimate decision of discontinuing the iPhone 5 and just offering the iPhone 5C instead. If they kept the 5, they would have had a $99 iPhone 5C, and then they would have had a $99 iPhone 5 because that's usually what happens along the upgrade lines. So before we move on to iOS 7, obviously now we got the three iPhone models that Apple's going to be offering. And like I said uh, before, I may have messed up. They are going to be offering three, uh, but it's just not going to be unbalanced anymore. In the future, they may offer four. And when they introduce the 6, make the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6C. And then they'll take the 5S and 5C and kind of push them back, if you guys know what I mean. Um, and then they also offer the iPhone 4S. Um, so the colors available, uh, of course, uh, are as listed, you know, for the 5S, silver, space gray, and gold. Uh, and the 5C uh, is going to come in white, pink, yellow, blue, and green. And, of course, uh, the iPhone 4S is going to come in black and white. For the 5S price ranges, uh, it's going to run you starting at uh, $199 for 16GB. It goes up from there, as you can see. Uh, the 5C is starting at just $99, bucks, uh, starting at 16GB. And 4S is only available now uh, in 8GB for free with a new two-year contract. So the 4S is still actually a pretty good phone. Uh, you know, it's got Siri and everything, and it is decently fast, although iOS 7 will continue to slow it down in the higher versions of iOS, so get one while you can. I mean, free, you can't beat it. The iPhone 5S is now going to feature the A7 chip with the 64-bit architecture, and on the side, never before done, they're offering an M7 motion coprocessor, which is going to be in the iPhone 5S as well. Uh, the iPhone 5C is going to take the A6 chip that the iPhone 5 had, and the iPhone 4S is still going to keep the same A5 chip. It will be offered on all carriers that Apple offers, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. Touch ID, obviously the new fingerprint sensor is only going to be featured in the iPhone 5S. Camera is still 8 megapixels on the iPhone 5S, as well as the 5C took the 8 megapixel camera from the iPhone 5, and the 4S even has uh, an 8 megapixel camera. Each phone's got 1080p video recording, however with the 5S a few differences, you got the true tone flash, you got slow-mo video, uh, improved video stabilization, and stuff like that. Ear pods are going to be offered with both. And the 4S is just going to keep the basic Apple headphones. Uh, we got a nano SIM on the 5S and 5C as well, uh, which is good. And then connectors, lightning and lightning on 5S and 5C. So the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C are both going to release September 20th, which we predicted, and we're completely right on it. Uh, they're going to be available in Apple stores then. I'm going to probably go and camp out for both of them. Um, now, one thing that was interesting is the 5C is going for pre-order on September 13th. However, the 5S is only going to be available just to get on release date. There's no pre-order, so kind of weird that Apple did this. I don't know, maybe they're expecting a shortage or something, uh, but the 5C will be available for pre-order this Friday, September 13th. Uh, and 5S users, you're just going to have to wait uh, until next Friday when Apple finally makes it available. Just get a spot online, hopefully in an Apple store by you or wherever else they wind up selling it, or just get on Apple's site. Uh, early before they all go because they'll be gone pretty quick. And last but not least, I figured I'd just briefly talk about iOS 7. Obviously, I've talked about this in a lot of videos, um, but I figured I'd give you a little update. Uh, iOS 7 is going to be available September 18th again. 
just as we predicted with those dates, uh, which is going to be next Wednesday, the 18th for all devices, and for developers or people that can just download the GM and get it to work, uh, you can go ahead and download the iOS 7 Gold Master now. It's pretty much an exact copy uh, of what the final release of iOS 7.0 will be. Uh, they just put it out to just kind of do some final testing and stuff, make sure everything goes smooth. So the Gold Master is out now. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, you should definitely go and watch the keynote on Apple.com if you get a chance. I'm probably going to do that right after this since I was in school. Uh, and they didn't live broadcast it anyways. But it is up now, so go check it out if you get a chance. Uh, and also, a little update. Yesterday, I said uh, that I was hoping that Apple um, would turn around and maybe introduce um, the iPad 5 as well as the iPad Mini 2. Unfortunately, we got none of that today. Uh, that's most likely going to be pushed back to next month uh, when Apple promised they'd be really Using OS X Mavericks, which we still don't have, it's still in beta, uh, and the Mac Pro Promise for Fall 2013. Quite honestly, Apple has until next month, uh, and right around October last year, late October last year, uh, is when Apple refreshed the iPad 4 for the iPad 3 to 4 and introduced the iPad Mini. So that's probably when it's going to happen. I was thinking, you know, maybe Apple could do it, they could just introduce it all in one shot, but they need some more time. So give them that time. But thank you guys for watching this video. That is my final recap on the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, iOS 7, everything Apple announced today at their September 10th event. If you like this video, post this in some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.